in Microsoft Azure Data Platform Shared Access Signature is a secure URL that grants limited access to Azure storage resources such as blobs, files, queues, or tables for a specific period of time. It allows you to delegate access to your storage resources without sharing your account keys, providing fine-grained control over permissions and expiration. SaaS token can be configured with specific permissions such as read, write, delete, or list, ensuring that users or resources can only perform the intended operations on the Azure storage resources. In this Databricks episode, I'm going to walk you through on how to read data from the Azure Data Lake Storage Gen 2 container using Databricks Notebook. Let's get started. If you're yet to subscribe to this channel, kindly do so by clicking on the subscribe button and toggle on the bell icon to be notified of new videos. Let's go into the project. I'm currently in the portal.azure.com. I'm going to come to my ADLS Gen 2 cornerstone storage types. I'm going to click on that. And then I want to go to containers under data storage, click on that. And then I'm going to access this My Synapse container. So I'm going to click on that. And of course, I've got no files. Now I'm going to upload a bunch of files from my local laptop. So I'm going to use the upload functionality at the top. And then I'm going to click on Browse for Files. And then I want to import all this data that contain sales 2010 to 2023. So I'm going to control A to select the whole thing and click on open. I'm going to click on the sales2010.csv to see the content and then I'm going to click on edit and at the bottom click on preview and you can see the number of columns. I've got the year, region, subcategory, product, price, quantity and sales columns. So I'm going to close this. We have the same number of columns across the 2010 to 2023.csv files. Cool. Now I want to come to my Azure Databricks. Now in the Azure Databricks, I'm going to come to the Compute and in the Compute, I'm going to see this Abiola cluster running. Now if you want to see how to configure your cluster, I've got a video on that. I'm going to put that in the link of this video. So my cluster is running, so this is fine for me. Now I can go on and open a notebook and then click on Notebook. So we're going to have the Databricks notebook. I'm actually using the free version for now. Cancel this. Now, in order to make it for easier, I'm going to come to this notepad. I've got some code here. Let me just copy all of this and I'm going to explain in a moment. Now, in order to access the data in my container of the ADLS Gen 2, I need the Spark configuration. So I just have all of this spark.config.set and then we have this fs.azure.account.authentication.type and then I'm going to provide the name of my storage account and of course we can see we have the distributed file system.call.windows.net and then we're going to be focusing on the SaaS, the shared access signature and what i need to do basically is to just replace this part with the name of my storage account now let's quickly do that i'm going to come to my container and i can see the name of my storage account which is the adls gen 2 cornerstone i can click on that and then i can double click to copy this and come back to the notebook and carefully select this part of this configuration Control v to paste that and of course, I'm going to do the same thing at this side. I'm going to carefully select this part of the code. Control V to paste my ADLS Gen 2 cornerstone. And I need to provide the token. And this is where we need to generate the SaaS token. To do that, I'm going to come back to my storage account. And under the security plus networking, I'm going to click on shared access signature at the bottom. And then I'm going to allow this SaaS to be used on service, container, and object. So I'm going to click on this tree, enable the three, and I'm going to scroll down, and I can generate the SaaS and connection string. I can scroll down, and I'm going to see a lot of strings, such as the connection string, the SaaS token, the blob service, SaaS URL. So we need the SaaS token specifically. So I'm going to come here, and I can come back to my notebook and carefully in between this double code, I'm going to control V, the SAS token, and I can control enter to run the code. Okay, so this executed wonderfully. 
Now, don't forget in my container, I've got loads of files, the 2010 to 2023 CSV files. So I want to basically append all of these files so that I can analyze them using the PySpark. So I'm going to come back here and create a new cell at the bottom. And then I can go on and define the variable. I'm going to type df variable and I'm going to use the spark.read.csv and I'm going to open the brackets and I need the inside single quotes. I'm going to use the abfss colon four slash four slash and then I need the name of the container. So I'm going to come back here. The name of my container is the my synapse container. Control C to copy and I'm going to control V to paste. Add, and then I need the name of my idealistic tool. So I'm going to actually copy here. Okay, let me just delete this part and let me copy this path of the code and control V to paste. And after that, I'm going to use the dot and I'm going to specify. Okay, delete this part. I'm going to specify the distributed file system, the dfs.core.windows.net. Now, I'm going to read all the files in my storage account. So to do that, I'm going to come back to the notebook and use forward slash and, and then the star. So after the star, I can close the single quote and press the tab key and use this auto complete code for me. So I'm going to promote the error or specify the error as true. And this is what I need to do for now. I can just press enter and I can use the display method to display the DF or the data frame. So this is what I need to do. And I can go ahead and run the code. There we go. So we are able to successfully read all the files from the Azure Data Lake Storage Gen 2. We want to perform total sales by year. Now, before I do that, you probably observe that the sales column is being treated as a string. So we have to find a way to cast these sales as an integer. So I'm going to come to my notepad and I want to copy this code. And let me come to the notebook and create a new cell control v so basically we're going to be importing pyspark.sql.functions import columns and then some function and then just have the same variable data frame and then we're using the df dot width column and then we're pointing to the sales column and then this is going to be a column and then we're casting this sales column from string to an integer column and then i'm going to use the df dot group by function grouping by the year column and then dot aggregate and then we have the sum function and then we are grouping the sales that we just cast as integer here and then we use the display method to print so i'm going to press ctrl enter to print and there we go so we have the total sales by year so we have 2016 2020 2017 and so on and so forth so this is how we can use the azure databricks to read multiple files from the azure data lake storage and tool I trust you did it. If you do, like, share, comment, and follow me for more videos. Thank you for watching. Bye for now.